But sleep is really when you replenish that reservoir of dopamine. So you cannot ignore sleep. I'll come back to this in a moment. The second science-supported tool that's really been shown to replenish dopamine, in particular, dopamine within the pathways that regulate motivation, is a practice I've talked about before on the podcast called non-sleep deep rest, sometimes called yoga nidra, although yoga nidra is a little bit different. There are two studies out of Denmark that have explored yoga nidra in the context of dopamine the first one simply involved having people do a yoga nidra practice again this doesn't involve any movement but involves people potentially you doing anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes although there are now data showing that as short as 10 minutes of a non-sleep deep rest aka yoga nidra protocol leads to dramatic really dramatic increases in striatal dopamine reserves so it essentially is replenishing the dopamine reserve pool This is why I'm such a fan of using NSDR, aka Yoga Nidra, at least once a day, and especially under times when you're engaging in a lot of high output. And when I say especially at times when you're engaging in a lot of high output, this is a mistake many people make. They push, 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 push. They're in pursuit of a goal. Then they hit that point where they're exhausted. Then they start doing all the dopamine reserve pool replenishing tools, such as Yoga Nidra or NSDR. The real key is to always tap off that or refill that reservoir once a day before it's completely depleted. Now this gets into some of the biochemistry of dopamine and the relevant circuits, but it takes a lot longer to restore the dopamine reservoir. Think of it still as a wave pool, but that reservoir from a place of complete depletion than it does of partial depletion. So there's an asymmetry in the way this is done. So it's not as if, you know, you drink a glass of water, you fill the glass of water at a certain rate and it fills up to a certain level and the rate is constant. Think about it as once the level of dopamine in your reserve is depleted past a certain point, it takes a lot more effort, much more sleep, much more NSDR, things of that sort to replenish that reservoir. Now, oftentimes what people will do when they start feeling less motivation is they will start relying on things like Adderall, Ritalin, some cases illegal substances that uh, can increase dopamine. You know what those are. Please don't uh, ever lean to those. They are extremely uh, dangerous. They really are because of their ability to potently release dopamine. And guess what? Deplete that reservoir even further. We've talked about some supplements on the podcast that can replenish dopamine, L-tyrosine in particular. Um, Macunapurines is actually 99% L-dopa, the precursor to dopamine. I don't necessarily recommend uh, macunapurines. It tends to make people uh, very dopaminergic, drive, 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 motivated, and then crash, again, depleting that pool. Uh, L-tyrosine is a little bit milder, but I really encourage people to lean first on the behavioral tools such as NSDR. And by the way, There's a NSDR script, totally zero cost, that you can find by uh, putting my name and NSDR into YouTube. Uh, That one uh, works quite well if you're looking for a short NSDR. Uh, There's some other NSDRs you can simply look on the internet um, or YouTube and just put NSDR and you'll find NSDR. Or if you prefer to do the more classic Yoga Nidra type approach, there are a lot of different Yoga Nidra options to choose from on YouTube. Many people think NSDR or Yoga Nidra are simply meditation with a body scan. That's not true. Meditation is a focus exercise. Okay, Most meditations are focus exercise. NSDR restores energy through the dopamine system and newer data are starting to show that it can actually recover lost sleep. So if you're not sleeping enough, 